Hello, this is Logan Murphy, and for this video, we're going to be removing stuff from the cart. So, let's just find a nice button to use to delete. I'm gonna go with a PNG, preferably. See what this is. This is good. Um, so, I'll save images. See if I can save it directly. Red X dot PNG. Excellent. Just close all that. So the first thing I want to do is create this button, or well, li link, that will delete. And it's going to be a little bit differently than we've been doing it, but that's okay. So, there's an image, the source is images slash red x.png. See how that looks so far. There it is. Well, okay. And we are going to give this a, a class of red X. And we are going to go to our CSS template. Select any red X. Make the width uh, 40 pixels. The height 40 pixels. The position absolute. The top 0. The right 5. And Any image inside of there will have a width of 100%, which pretty much means it's just going to be 40, and a height of 100%, which also means it's just going to be 40. And save all. Okay. A little bit higher than I was expecting. So, it's in the wrong spot. Or at least it seems like it's in the wrong spot. No, actually it's not in the wrong spot. It's just in a bad spot. But that's okay. Um, it just needs to move down a little bit. So instead of having top as 5 or 0, get the top as 20 pixels. See if we could bring it down. Okay, still not enough, 40. And I'm going to make a little bit smaller too. Make it hard for people to click. And a little bit lower. And a little bit more to the left. And I'm going to move it back to the right. Perfect. Okay, so if I went here, chose another film, added it to the cart, and went back to my cart, there's another X. Okay, so go to the cart, let's have an anchor, href equals php slash um, remove from cart PHP ID equals echo dollar row film 
Well, actually. We want to get the film in cart dot film in cart ID so that we can delete by ID. And the A should end after the image. Come back here, refresh. And it's gone. Which means I messed up somewhere. Oh, it's up here. Instead. Let's view the page source. This ah, so what we should do get rid of this div. Just put the anchor and go to template and make red x display block still up here uh, so let's try to figure out why that's happening Anchor. See that it has all of the everything that it needs to have. It looks like it does. The anchors. Supposedly it's up here. It's inside of container. So the anchor is not ending up inside of this. And I think I know why. It's because there's already an anchor there. So we're going to have to uh, rearrange a few things. Can't have an anchor inside of an anchor. And that's the problem that we're having. So... Put a div here. What was that div? Oops. I move this anchor here so that we no longer have anchor inside of anchor. And See if we can just change this class. I will make the edits as necessary. Okay. That looks perfect. But let's make sure it didn't affect our home. Which also looks perfect. Unscathed. So you can click this and you can click this. And when you click this, takes you to remove car ID equals six. Okay, so we need to make that web page. But first, let's go to film in car, alter it, and we're gonna add a column. And the column is gonna be called active, and it's gonna be a tiny int one. And it cannot be null, and the default value is active active by default. Apply. Apply. Finish. So that now we have this active column which tells you whether or not an item in the cart is active or a film in the cart is active. And instead of deleting stuff from the database we'll just 
inactivate it, essentially. Give it this. Okay. So let's make this page. New PHP file. Uh, remove film or re remove from cart. We're definitely going to use a session. And we're definitely going to commit the session. And remember that when we get when we get here, we have this ID equals six. We can get that ID we can get that ID and just store the session for now if there is a film and actually let's do an interval the film is greater than zero and there is a customer, and we can do stuff. Stuff we want to do. Let's do a little bit of MySQL first. So we have a um, film in cart ID, and we have a customer ID. So This should be film and cart ID. It's not a. It's not just to the way. It's not a film ID. It's a film and cart ID, because we want to target a specific film and cart uh, row. We look at this. Uh, each row has its own ID, so we want to target a specific ID. It's the only thing that's guaranteed unique, if you recall. Okay, so back here actually haven't even finished here and we want to update film in cart this is the table name we're gonna set active equal to zero where the customer ID equals customer ID and film in cart ID equals film in cart ID. It's that simple. We need to make sure that the customer has permission pretty much that the customer who's requesting this update is, is the person who owns it and that uh, this is the film and car ID they want to update so as always set our variables well connect first local post root root secure close just so we don't forget and store that connection otherwise we can't use it and we're going to prepare a statement and we're going to bind to that statement, the PHP variable and of course this returns a statement that we need to store we need to put in two integers well actually there's another condition that I'm, I actually forgot we also need to make sure that uh, purchase date is null, meaning they haven't purchased the item. You can't take an item off out of your cart if you already bought it. 
so the purchase date has to be no. You can't can't have purchased it. But that doesn't stop us here. We're going to put uh, film in cart ID, and we're going to put customer ID. Doesn't have to have its name, but that's what it's named in, P in uh, MySQL, so it only makes sense to name it that in PHP. MySQL -y statement execute. MySQL -y statement close. And now that we've done all this, we just do the query. We're actually not expecting a table back, so we don't need to set it up for that. We just need to update. MySQL -y query this connection. Okay. And we need to go back to cart. And we only want to select things that are active. And it's got to be film and cart active. And I guess it equals one. And when we're done with this, we will redirect. to cart.php because right now we're in remove from cart which is here we have to go up a folder and then we need to go to cart.php because that's where we came from it only makes sense to go back where we came from sometimes so come back here about to click this beneath beneath rush and it did not so let's look at the database. Do a refresh on this. So let's see where it's tripping up. And we're going to turn off the redirect for now. Click the X. Well, it's not getting there. So I put an echo got here because I'm using the wrong variable name. I'm using this film variable, it doesn't even exist. So I'm sure it'll work now. So we got beneath rush. Let me put that uh, redirect back in so we're not looking at a blank page. Beneath rush. Didn't work again. This is customer ID. Once again, I'm using the wrong variable. Red X. There. Beneath rush is gone. Red X. It's gone. And it's not really gone. Because it's still in the database. It's just marked as a zero. And we're only showing things. When we go to cart.php, we're only showing things that are active for this person and is in the cart okay that's deleting and that's usually how you would handle deleting instead of deleting it from the database you just have an active flag and if something is active then it's not deleted if something is inactive then it is deleted and the reason you do that is so that you have historical records as to what happened in your database versus deleting stuff you won't have any history. At least you can revert or undo a delete if, so, if you just mark it as delete it versus deleting it. Um, next video, we are going to do a checkout and do a receipt view of some kind. So, see how that turns out. I'm Logan Murphy, and I will see you next time.